My name is Dave Hadfield. I'm a volunteer pilot with Vintage Wings of Canada. We're, ba we're a charity, a flying museum based in Ottawa at the Gatineau Airport. And this is a 1942 Westland Lysander. It was used during the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan primarily to train gunners. The belly of that airplane, they could deploy a big reel, like a giant fishing reel, and uh, release about a, a thousand feet of line, and then on the end of that, a big canvas drogue. And then uh, other aircraft would make runs on this drogue and try and teach the gunners how to shoot. Its British-built counterparts over in England were used uh, from 1942 to 44 to support the French resistance movement. And uh, they take off on moonlit nights. People like Cliff Stewart, whose name's on the side of our airplane, uh, would be dropped off in some little French pasture. And he'd help the French uh, resistance with dynamite and detonators and radios and codes and ciphers. And in fact, he did that five times and he was never caught. It wasn't really its original design, you know, plan, you know, to drop off spies in France, but it turned out to be very effective for that. I have a sponsor called the Lysander Fund. Uh, just below the cockpit, there's, that's their logo. They're a wonderful sponsor. The, the president and founder of the company was in the Air Force, and his father flew these airplanes just after World War II. Well, my dad was a pilot, and uh, we were all raised with, with airplanes and with aviation. It just seemed to be a natural progression. We, we grew up on a farm. We learned machinery and, and basic you know, mechanical care and operation on tractors and things like that. And to be honest, an old tractor is pretty good preparation for looking after this thing. My brother Chris, uh, Chris Hadfield, he's actually also busy with vintage wings. He's the, uh, he flies the F-86 Sabre. Uh, the best way to acquaint young people with Canadian aviation history or military aviation history as well is to bring them out to the airplane and open up the door and they can poke the fabric and they can get oil on their fingers and later they can hear it and smell it as we start the engine and the cloud of oil smoke and watch it take off. And that'll make an impression that the book doesn't.